I also want to talk about your new Netflix movie um, called Concrete Cowboys. Break this down for me because you're a cowboy, you're riding horses. How do you prep for a movie like that when you're horseback riding on the streets of Philadelphia? Yeah, um, I did a month of training before I uh, went to Philadelphia. And, did, and actually, I did a week of training with the horse just so the horse can get used to me. When you're training with the horse, the horse is also training with you. Ooh. You have to build like this connection with the horse before you hop on the horse. People think that, you know, you just got to hop on the horse and yeehaw into the sunset. It's like, no, it's bigger than that. You got to really build this connection with this horse. So, Caleb, how was it like working with Idris Alba? I mean, that's probably so nerve wracking and exciting at the same time. Yeah, um, it was a dream come true. Um, I was a fan of his before. I knew I wanted to pursue my career in acting. Working on set with him, we both were allergic to horses. So the whole movie's based on cowboys and horses, and we're both allergic. It was so funny. I didn't know I was allergic to horses until I was with Idris, and there was a scene in the film. We had to be like super serious, dramatic scene. We're really we're talking to each other, and we could not get through the scene because we were both just like, and then and just snot just kept falling out of our nose. We we're like, cut, cut. And we had to walk out of the stables. It was so funny. Wait, so oh what did God. you do? How did, did you just pop like allergy medicine every day? Yeah, allergy medicine came outside. Eyes was just like swollen like golf balls. It was so funny. It was it was it was good memories, you know. Uh, but what yeah, a, what a cosmic joke. We're gonna I make know. a movie called Concrete Cowboys. Uh, we're both allergic to horses. The allergic, I know. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. Kayla, before you go, I want to try a little glee spot. Now, what this is during the pandemic, I have learned that we need to appreciate life's simple pleasures. So I'm going to give us some scenarios, and I want us okay. both to use our pleasure scales to determine what, how pleasurable is that small thing for us. You down? All right, I'm down. I'm down. So I'm gonna give you a series of little pleasures, and I want you to rate them for me on a scale from meh to enlightenment. Okay, got you. Oh, I wish I had a scale like that. Oh, snap, I <laughs> Oh, we twins. You know what? I didn't actually know you had one and I'm utterly shook at production, minus the fact that my tab just <laughs> fell off. So that was perfectly timed. Let me put it right back on. Okay, cool. The first one is gonna be, what is the level of satisfaction when you get your inbox to zero? Mmm. It's a good one. That's a great one. Um, I would say, Sweet. Oh, sweet. That's five. That's pretty low still. Are you are you an email person? Uh, no. I don't really care for emails. I, I really don't. Um, it's kind of bad. I'm a solid seven. Freaking amazing. Seven. Uh, my Freaking inbox, amazing. I'm, right now I think I have four in my inbox and it's driving me crazy. It's driving me yeah. crazy right now. <laughs> yeah, I need to probably get more like you. Yeah, I need to probably look at my email more. Then I'll probably be in that uh, mood. This next one is very specific, okay? All right. You know when you're cutting something and the scissors just glide through? Okay. What's the pleasure level there? Hmm. Say nice. Say nice. Three? Nice? Oh, wait, no, six. six. Yeah, oh, sorry, you, six. you went Oh, nice. 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 There's nice, nice and there's nice. nice. So you're saying nice? this. Yeah. So you like that better than the cleared inbox? Especially when it's like perfect line. It's the best. What you're saying food. you cut more pieces of paper than you've responded to yeah. emails. Exactly. <laughs> nice. I'm, I'm going to be straight up. Mine, nine, orgasmic. Orgasmic. Mm, when you're really? cutting wrapping paper and just... That's true. That's, that's the good stuff to me. Yeah, I don't cut paper often. Okay. <laughs> I don't. The last one here is... All right, this all right. is a good one. The right. feeling you get off a long flight, you go to baggage claim, your bag gets there the same time you do. Oh, smooth. Oh, oh, oh. I would have to say 10. Because I, I fly a lot. You know, you fly a lot too. So, yeah, when it's there and you just get out of that airport, that busy airport is the best film. Oh, yeah. You know, I've done a lot of flights to from Dubai to India. That's like 21 hours of travel. I'm just going to go ahead and say, I threw that thing off the chart. It's yeah, off the chart for me. <laughs> off the chart. There is no better feeling. Caleb, yeah. thank you so much for coming to play with us today. For everyone at home, make sure you check out Concrete Cowboys on Netflix right now. You are such a gem. Thank you so much. I appreciate you for having me. Hey, thanks so much for watching this clip. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you subscribe to this channel for more just like it. If you don't, none of us can leave set. <laughs>